Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to load data from comma separated values file into HTML table by using Ajax jQuery in single click. We all know CSV file format is a very popular way of exchanging data between application, so our web application must be called with CSV file format for exchanging data between two application. This is because we can also open CSV file data in Excel format also, so in this tutorial we are going to discuss small but very useful topic. Here we will load data from CSV file to HTML table by using Ajax jQuery method. In our previous tutorial, we have already made discussion on how to export or import data from CSV by using PHP. But here we have make discussion on how to load CSV file data under HTML table without refresh of web page. So this is our employee.csv file and under this file we have store employee data in CSV format. In this file you can see first row is column heading like name address, gender, designation and age and from second line we can see employee data. Now we will load this data file data in HTML table by using Ajax. We have stored this file in our working folder. This is our index page and on this page we have include jQuery JavaScript library link, bootstrap JavaScript and style sheet link. We will use functionality of both the library on this page for load CSV file data into HTML table. Now we have moved to write HTML code, so first we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to load data and is equal to load data and in button text also we have write load data text. So when we have click on this button then at first Ajax request for fetch data from CSV file and after this it will display under HTML table. Below this button we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to employee table, under this tag we will display HTML table with data get from employee.csv file. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, here we will click on button then it will load data, so here we have write dollar with button it load data with click method with return function. So when we have click on button then this code will run. Under this we have define Ajax request and under this request we have write first option URL and here we have write file name employee.csv, we have send request to file and this file we have store under our working folder. In second option we have write data type and in this option we have write text. This option define we want to get data in which format, so here we want to get data in text format. Lastly in Ajax request we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request has been completed successfully and it will receive data in text format which can be accessed from this function data argument. Now we will receive data in text format and we want to convert into table. So first under this function we have define one employee data variable is equal to data dot split function and under this function we have write this regular expression, this regular expression will split CSV rows. After split CSV file rows we have defined one more table data variable is equal to HTML table tag with attribute class is equal to table table bordered and table striped class. This is bootstrap library class. Now we want print this employee data variable array data and table. So we have write for loop with variable count is equal to zero count variable value less than value of employee data variable dot length method and count variable value increment by one. Here we have defined one count variable and its value set to zero and this loop will continue to execute code unit count variable value reach the value of employee data dot length method return. So this way we can print data in table. Under this loop first we have defined one cell data variable is equal to employee data with index count with split method and under this method we have write comma. 
Here we have get the data of single and the single row data has been split by comma and store into this cell data variable. So here we have get the array of data for table cell and print into table cell. After this we have write table data variable and under this variable we have append HTML code of open table row tag. So here we have open table row tag and store into this table data variable. Then after we want to print data in table data tag, so we have write write for loop with variable cell count is equal to zero, variable cell count variable value less than the value of cell data variable dot length method and cell count variable value increment by one. This loop will get value from single row data which we have split by comma and store into cell data variable and above for loop return whole table row data and this loop return table data of single table row. So under this loop we can print data into table data tag. So under this loop we have write if statement with condition like value of count variable is triple equal to zero. This condition will check if count variable is equal to zero and its data type is also equal to integer then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. This condition we have used because in first row we have get the table column heading this we want to print under table heading tag and other tag in table data tag. So we have write this condition. So suppose count variable value is equal to zero and its data type is also integer then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write table data variable. And under this variable we have append html code like open table head tag and close table head tag and between this tag we have write cell data variable with index cell count variable. This code will print table column heading in first row, and now suppose count variable value is not equal to zero then it will execute else block of code. So under this block we have write table data variable and under this variable we have print csv file data and table data tag. So here we have write table data variable and under this variable we have append html code open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write cell data variable with cell count index. This code will print particular row data in different table data tag. This way we have print cell data and table head tag and table data tag and we have print whole single row data in different table data tag. Now we want to close table row tag, so we have write table data variable and under this variable we have append html code like close table row tag, so this way we have close table row tag. And lastly we want to close table tag, we have again write here table data variable and under this variable we have append html code like close table data tag which close table. So here we have convert all CSV file data in table format and store into table data variable. Now we want to print table under division tag with id employee table, so we have write dollar with division tag id employee table with HTML method and under this method we have write table data variable. This code will load HTML table under this division tag with id employee table. So our code is ready to convert CSV file data into HTML table format. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded under browser then we can see one single button with text load data on web page. So we have click on this button, after clicking on this button we have seen HTML table with employee data has been appear on web page. This data has been come from employee.csv file to this web page in HTML format by using Ajax query method. So if in your web application suppose you want to load large CSV file data into your web application then you can follow this tutorial. In this tutorial we have not used any server-side code and we have not write any code for upload CSV file but we have used only simple Ajax method for get data from CSV file and convert the text data into HTML table by using jQuery code. 
so it is very light code to load CSV file data into web page in HTML table format. If you have any query regarding on this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box. If you have liked this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends. Lastly, if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for update regarding future video. Thank you for watching this video we will meet in next video.